to unite. Have you ever booted up a game of Warhammer 3 playing as, well, any faction, doesn't matter really, and you've been thinking, man, this is the same campaign map I see over and over again with the same damn trees, same lighting, same weather, same everything, really. And to be honest, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. You know, and other Total War games, for like Three Kingdoms, an example, had a option where you could like change the time of day and night, whether it be real time or on its own pace. Here, there's really not much the, the main game offers you to customize how it looks. But luckily, <laughs> there's an entire modding community that is ready for anything. Now then, to make your campaign map look incredible, there are three main mods I'm going to focus on. The first one is one that just came out five days ago, the Campaign Weather Mod. This mod is the first mod ever made by John Matrix, so good job on him. So he changed the lighting, tweaking, tons of weather effects, and he varied up everything. He has a whole list here showing how he changed everything up. And to be honest, it looks, it's a big deal. He changed, he changed everything. Everything has, yeah, a couple things kind of split over and are pretty similar. But all of these, I think it, overall he did a great job and it runs really well. The second mod is the Fancier Forestry with the Dynamic World. Com this is essentially a two-in-one. It combines the dynamic world mod and the fancier forestry mod, and it can lead to some pretty incredible things that happen on the map. Here's the whole list again. And again, it's just, it's, it's really well done, and I recommend you get it. It is the Wickus Workshop. And the last mod that really, well, you should just get no matter what, Community Patch. What? Where is it? Where's the community patch? There it is. The community patch bug fix mod 3.4. This fixes every single bug that CA lists on their node bugs list and some other stuff. It is quite essentially the best mod you could ever want since it fixes all the things that CA is not fixing for some reason. So made by the Groob's Wizard Workshop with all these people contributing, it is incredible and you should download it. Now, let's combine all three of these mods and see what results we get on the map. Now then, prepare yourselves because this, it's going to look much more different than what you're going to expect. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to unite! So, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a big fog upon the Empire now. It's a lot more gloomier, more uncertain of what secrets lurk beyond. Like, you can't... if you zoom out, yeah, it's all bright and colorful on the map to see you what factions, but, you know, once you go in... It's gloomy, it's dark, like this is a perfect, is it like the southern part of the empire? It's a bit brighter, surprisingly, you know? I guess there's less danger, less populated, less things to worry about. You go to the capital, well, it's still kind of, it's raining, it's a bit gloomy, but it still doesn't seem that dangerous. But if you go to, say, Hawkland, or Talabeckland, it just, that just looks really cool. Oh, yeah, like, look at this. That's a great shot. So in the fog, the lighting, it's, it's great. Now, what if we take a look at the Sylvanium? Now we're talking. Look at this. There's a bat tornado. Bats flying everywhere. It feels like the undead rule this place. And it's a perfect encapsulation of what if be like to play as Sylvania. Look at Look at the, it's dark, it's gloomy, 
and all the only light you see is from the undead cities ruled by the vampires and yada 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 I don't know much more it looks incredible and like it even hides the view of like cities like once you go out of the fog you could see more but within it your vision is dim and I just think that's an incredible touch it also makes the actual like carving on the map look astonishing and honestly really incredible and the fancier forestry also comes into play in a couple here's an example here the green skins or the misty hills and as you can see with the trees it's you know it looks like a place that looks more dangerous you should be wary of that looks like an incredible thing it looks really good and that's just this is just the empire <laughs> you know the rest of the world is also completely changed as well Britonia is far more brighter vibrant it's as if why is the empire is a dark gloomy place where death and danger is around every corner Britonia is far more I wouldn't say safe because there's still danger I mean, there's these vampires killing everything over here there's uh, more vampires in the mountains, there's the green skins, there's more green skins, and there's beastmen and skaven, but it's a lot more vibrant, the forest seems more, more inviting, you know, it, it feels like a place of safety, even though there's as much danger as there is in the Empire, then you get what I mean, and... You know, the wood elves, you know, the forest, it feels more isolated with leaves falling around like a mist protecting Athel Lorne. Or perhaps the Badlands, where everything feels really dead, the, the sun beating down on everything, the trees and shrubs, orange and dead with... They're a lot, I'm saying dead a lot, I'm gonna get demonetized. It feels immersive. The desert to the south doesn't like here. Look at the sand here. It, it feels hot. It looks hot. I bet if you were there, it would be very hot. It's all so immersive, and I think there's probably there's a couple more. I think there's some new details on the map as well. Look, the ogres. You know, they live in they, the the uh, famished ogres. They live here, and it looks like there's some ogre huts lying about in the area as they have their army as well. You know, the vampires here, they, as they corrupt the land, their corruption is far better than what it is in the base game, you know, tainting the trees. And it's just so incredible how the modders are doing what should just be in the base game as is. Ah, uh, what a- oh, wait, 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 the chaos waste. Oh, look at this. I think the chaos corruption really shines, especially for Zinch. Like, look at these crystals all over the place. It is honestly really cool. Like, Nurgle, the trees, the trees are breathing. That That is, that, that is scary. Like, imagine living in a place where the trees are breathing. Slanesh, you know, it's all purple, the tentacles moving about. It's really... It feels like if you take one wrong step, it'll be your last. Scarbrand or like corn corruption. It feels like a state of rage. <laughs> Everything is red. You hear the whispers of something in the background. Perhaps it is your inner thoughts trying to get the better hand of you. Or will you stay in control? Lustria is really cool. In Lustria, it's always raining. And I think that's a perfect touch, you know, it's a tropical rainforest, I mean, they're gonna get a lot of rain, that's a fact, and it fits perfectly, you know, whether you're a lizardman faction trying to defend from invaders, or perhaps you are one of these invaders and going into this unknown land, what dangers await you? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, in the High Elves, they feel like they are safe, on their own little island. Bright, colorful, filled with vibrant environments and little dots and houses everywhere. 
little monuments and villages. It's quite incredible. But is it really all that safe? Is everything in this island safe? Is there no way of corruption spreading? Or perhaps it's already there and they're just ignoring it. It's it looks really cool. That like that's that's exactly what you should be like in the main game. It's so cool. Um I think Nagaron kinda is a little bit basic, but it's fine. It gets the job done. You know? It, the, when you go to the north to the top parts of the map, the snow is heavy as the chaos wastes are unforgiving. And that's even more apparent with Norska. As you can see, it's all very snowy, unforgiving. And I do think it dims your view, like... This is... Like, yeah, that looks really cool. So this is the one tick before, like, scrolling out too far, and like... It, 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 I feel like it does dim your view. Like, look, look at the cloud, the blizzard clouds hiding whatever may be north or south of you. It's quite incredible. Keys live also having a lot of snow is fitting. You know, the K oh, the, the Badlands. Wait, no, those are the Badlands. This is the um, Darklands. Yeah, it feels dark. The chaos corruption is spreading the dark, the chaos dwarves, I should say. Yeah, because they're chaos dwarves, you know, they're, this is their land and you don't want to be there. The mountain, the silver road, the ivory road. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting all these wrong. I'm getting, uh, what is wrong with me? The ivory road. The mountains of the ogres. Yeah, I don't think it's very safe here. And then there's Grand Cathay. Vibrant in color, and it looks safe on the surface, but looks can be very deceiving. So yeah, I think everything on this map, it makes the map just incredible. <laughs> and even it even puts a bunch of trees in the two places that the map isn't finished. I just that's funny. That's just funny. I th I like this. It's like yeah, stuff's gonna be added here, but for now it's just trees, endless amount of trees. So the vi the environments are incredible. The patch, the community patch for three point four fixes all the bugs, so it runs even better. And the fancy forestry can lead to some astonishing re results. Combine them all, and this map looks the best it's ever been. It may, it, like, if I had to compare base game Warhammer 2 map with base game Warhammer 3, I do think Warhammer 2 looks a little better. Well, War okay, no, Warhammer 3's map is better. It looks better, but it looks too cartoonish. It looks like a less... Like, it looks safer than Warhammer 2, where everything looks more dead. This fixes the problem with perfectly encapsulating it with the lighting. Like, some of these shots are crazy. Like, uh, Sylvania is, like, the best for me. Like, that, that is perfect. So, if you want to change how your campaign map looks and you're sick of the old, tired standard, this these three mods are perfect for you. And if you don't want them, I, I'm, I hope I convinced you to get them because they really do change your thinking of the game, you know? So thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.